This is a HeadGum Podcast. And welcome to another beautiful episode. We got a fun one. Of America's number one podcast. Don't look it up. We're here to help. We, we sure we do, We got a Jay. fun one. Well, we did uh, their podcast. Yes, the Broad Ideas podcast. Yes, and while we were doing it, they said to us, you could use our studio, but you should do video. And they said, how do you do it? And I said, we do it. Uh, this is Rachel Bilson. And Olivia Allen. And they, we, they said, how do you do it? And we said, we do it over Zoom. And yep. they said, well, you guys are good together. You really should do it in person. They, they commented on how handsome, were they were like, you're handsome guys. They did. You're, you have model. Good. It's like hanging out with two James Deans. They okay, said. they did. Yeah. And we took their advice. And uh, so we appreciate them a lot. Yes. So if you have not heard their show, uh, start with our episode. Yeah, they it? say that's one of their favorite ones. So start there. Give their they give their show a listen. But we're very lucky to have them yes. on our show today. And um, we have one of the best. It's solutions. really good. It's really good. We're very happy. They're with killers. This. We honestly rushed this episode out because we were like, "This is so good. <laughs> yes. Let's just get it going." Yes. Um. So so yeah, give it a listen. Uh, we appreciate it. I mean, maybe the last time we'll say it, Jake's movie, Self Reliance. Go check so, it out. I, I think we can be done saying this right, is the last self, one. Self Reliance on Hulu right now. And then it won't be the last time we say this. Garfman, where are you going to be? I'm going to be all over the place from Las Vegas to New Orleans. Go to GarethReynolds.com. How do you it. spell that as Gail Buchanan? Uh, G A R E T H R E Y N O L D S dot com. You'll go to the tour dates and that'll send you to Slash Events. And if you're at his show, and it's wrapping up, and he's saying thank you. Maybe yell from the audience, take us out with Gil Buchanan. <laughs> sure, whatever you want. Listen, if you show up and I'm walking on stage, you can yell whatever the hell you Let's want. Let's have every uh, live Garf show have a little bit of Gilly Buchanan. Gilly Bean Buchanan. Alice and I are not on the rocks. We're stronger than ever. What if you had, you know, before a stand-up comes out, somebody does the, like, you know him from, what if Gil did your own intro? It's hard. <laughs> Is it's, it? Okay. Well, there's a timing thing, but we could try we, it. Oh, because somebody's on stage in, doing it? In, whenever I go, like, in Australia, you have to back announce yourself a lot. Meaning which is the, Meaning you have to go, ladies and gentlemen, give yes, it up for your headlining comedian, Gareth. And you're like, that's me, pretty obviously. Yeah. So that is a good tactic for there, yes. no doubt. And then what happens in the States? Uh, you're, like, the, the MC will bring I it got, up. So, so they some, do, like, an opener yes. and they bring you. I got you. Opener, yeah, exactly. I got you. Um, um, but ladies, either way, it would be a pleasure. Be it would be a pleasure. Uh, thank you guys for listening to the show and telling your friends. And without further ado. All right. Now we're ready? Yes. Oh. Okay, here we go. Well, and that was a weird start, Kevin. Well, yeah, we think something yeah. strange is probably happening on this call, but let's get into it. <laughs> Whoever you are, we'll get to that in a minute. You're on. We're here to help. Uh, sorry, America's number one podcast. You're on with Jake Johnson. America's number two podcast. Thank is you. joining us, yes. So we can give them number one. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> All right, you're on America. You're on with a couple great podcasts that are tied for America's number one. You're on with Jake Johnson, Gareth Reynolds, Rachel Bilson, and Olivia Allen. They're the hosts of Broad I the Broad Ideas podcast. So listen, you, with, not to put any pressure on your call, but this is really, this is a big one. And if you guys this have not hitters. heard their podcast, you need to. It's a lot Jake of Jake and I were on it. We're on it. So start with ours over yeah. there, <laughs> yeah. and then listen to all the rest. But no. we're excited. It is you guys the best one. I'm it not is. just saying. Oh, is we that right? do recommend oh, yeah. it when really? people are like, yeah. "What should we listen oh, to?" Or like, so do you this. Guys, so all of our "We're Here to Help" fans, go check out their podcast. Listen it to is the a four great of podcast. us chat. We had so much fun. They told us you guys need to be in studio. Yeah, that's yeah. right. We that everyone needs to see your faces. Yeah, we listen. Now here we are, and you guys came to ours, and we appreciate it. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. By the way, right before we started. They said they had a pitch for a movie idea for us, so let's hear the pitch again. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead, ladies. <laughs> you see what I do there? I'm a rat. <laughs> you are a rat. Jake, I'm a rat. Yeah, Jake's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was you committing to it. So yeah, that's, that's right. Yep. Uh, so the movie pitch is just simply something about we all swap in some hotel room. We or? don't swap. <laughs> no, there's no. It's just, it's Pick just, out. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to get into okay, the okay, details. Yeah, yeah, it's too wait. much. It is too much. It's okay. too much. You guys right. will see about it on deadline. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I can't wait. Thank and you. by the way, Jake and I are already in. I don't know if we said that already. We signed the deal. It's official. And yeah. Rachel and I saw each other on Halloween. We sure uh -huh. did. Randomly on the street. <laughs> on the street. You were a cowgirl. 
or a Were cow you? woman. Oh yeah, I had to throw. Yes, I threw on a cow woman. Cow is a great uh, cow adjustment. Woman. And I think cow I hello cow woman. <laughs> well, I think I called you. You called me something. I called you something that you said like this isn't right. <laughs> you were like I, you're I, a cow cow she. I, yeah, <laughs> I, like I think I called you. I think I called you a girl <laughs> cowboy. A girl cowboy. And you <laughs> said that's not how it's said. <laughs> And then she Jake said, and what so are you, delicate. a man in a garbage bag? And you were. And you was. were a man that in a garbage your, bag. It's actually a trash guy. It was a it, it <laughs> was a last second. I realized that really? I didn't have a costume. And that and street thought, that we partied on together yes. is a big kid mania street. Yes. And I thought, my wife said, you got to wear something. And she goes, maybe it's a cape. And when I got there, the first person I saw said, what are you, garbage? <laughs> and it was a night of people saying, so you're just literally trash for Halloween? And I went like... I think there was another plan, but there at this was, point, yeah. I'm just trash. I think my first thought was Silver Linings Playbook, which was a little bit of a step up from what? garbage. That's what I did. I was. Did doing... he wear trash bags in that movie? Yeah, he did. But Jake, yeah, I think he did. Didn't he? I was he did doing. At one point. I'm, a, yes. I'm a film guy. He runs. Know, I was trash. Doing... watch those movies. <laughs> I'm a film guy. I don't know these movies. Yeah. Sarah, we're back to you. Can we get your age, please? Wrong person. I'm Lainey. Laney, okay. The so other yeah. one. <laughs> Laney. All right. So, Laney, let's go back to you. Can we get your age, please? Yes, I'm 25. 25. Where are you calling from, Laney? I'm from Michigan. Michigan. What part? Do you mind telling us? It matters. Oh. It does. Uh, Big West difference between Michigan? North and South. Absolutely. You said Western Michigan? Western Michigan, right on the lake. Oh, oh beautiful. Gorgeous, beautiful. I grew up right on that same lake. Same here, Lane. Jake. Don't try to think you're better than us. Keep going. He's so sensitive. Uh, <laughs> all right, Lainey. And, um, Something I'm, happened. La <laughs> nothing happened. We're just lake buddies. That's all I'm saying. We're lake buddies. Yeah, we're lake pals. Relax. We're not. We we're are. Lake buddies. God, Lainey, listen to Jake. He just doesn't want to align himself <laughs> with anyone. He's got to be on an island all alone. That's why we call him Mackinac. Uh, Lainey, what is the issue? What's going on? Um, well, first off, I want to say congrats on self-reliance. A little plug there. Thanks, um, it was really good. Thanks, but um, my problem is... I like this one already. I moved yeah. away. <laughs> <laughs> I moved away from, from West Michigan for about five years. Okay. Um, and when I came back, I went back to my childhood dentist office. Um, <laughs> and I was Great just stuff. getting, you know, a normal... <laughs> <laughs> a normal... <laughs> You know, cleaning. Sure. Um, but I also needed to be fitted for a night a night guard because I grind my teeth at night. So they so, got to put that like putty in your say, mouth. Yeah. 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 The, the they disgusting do. purple. They fill putty. your mouth with putty. Yeah. You bite down. I yeah. Mean, and it's, yep. it's spilling out of your mouth on the sides. I, yeah. I would say, Jake, are you a dentist? I mean, you're, you're using all the technical terms. We're living there, dentist. Yeah. yeah, we went to school for it, but we, we yeah. quit. We got in the podcast game together. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you've got this. So the dentist threw a bunch of putty in your mouth and it was leaking all over your face. Okay, so you're getting fitted for Important. your Important. Yeah. Important note, not the dentist. The assistant put it okay. and it's all yeah, over my great. face. That's okay. Great. You know, and then they, they take it out, whatever. They're going to do the impression. Mm -hmm. They don't show you yourself, so I still have the putty all yeah, over it's, my it's face. It's not a flattering moment. Yeah. No, no. And then this is where the problem comes in. Talk to us. In walks the dentist. And let's give, like, quickly, let's I'm give him a name. Let's give him a he's name. Hot. He's hot. He's yeah. yeah. hot. Yeah. Olivia wants to know: is he, Was he hot? Um, that that's coming. Okay. But yes, his oh, name. Okay. We can call him John. Doctor John. Doctor John. Yep. Dirty John. Um, Dirty. Yeah. Wait, Dirty. Olivia just pitched. Can we call him Please. Dirty John? May we? Of course we can call him Dirty John. Dr. So Dr. Dr. Dirty John. Dr. Dirty John. Okay. Dr. Dirty John. Well, that's the name of the movie they pitched us, actually. It is. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. so You're weird. not far off. You're, You're not, not far, far off. off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hold on. So, Lainey, we're back. You uh, went to your childhood dentist. The assistant puts a bunch of putty in your mouth. You're just not looking great. A super hot dentist, Dr. Dirty John, walks in, and now you're back in charge. Yeah, well, I was expecting my old childhood dentist to walk in. Right. So oh, I'm no. not expecting anything. No, no, no. I look up. I look up into the, the beautiful light above me, and there he is. Um, <laughs> you know. And I'm like, who, who are you? You know, not, no, I don't know. I have the putty all over my mouth. Uh, sure. We start chatting. He introduces himself and he is extremely hot. Right. Um, I can't tell if he's wearing a ring because he's got the gloves on. Cause he's sure. about to be knuckles deep in my mouth. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is good. And Kevin, we got a title. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's about so, to be knuckles deep in your mouth. Uh, yeah, continue. I guess my question is, do you guys think I should go for it? And if so, what route should I take? Um, and asking him out or hold on, Lainey, you know, hold on, Lainey, Lainey, Lainey yes. hold on, hold on. Lainey. You're doing what I love, but you're doing it too fast. Yeah, Jake, remember what I was saying? Way, Jake, I hate the yeah. middling Jake and the bullshit. Never has this problem, Lainey. Everything about you I like so far, but I will say. <laughs> God damn it, we gotta slow down a little bit. Right? So, well, uh, my right. question is like, how was he in your mouth? Nice. Oh, great question. Oh, that is a good Very question. Very Rachel I mean, Bilson question. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, if Rachel we're gonna ask already the question. created the clip okay. for us. So Lane, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So um, it's, um how was how were his oh, fingers in your mouth? Oh, I mean, the name says it all. He's Dr. Dirty John. It was wonderful <laughs> in my mouth. Oh, that um, but, but hold on, is that real? Because no. uh Sometimes people are in your mouth or in your body, you know, in terms of medicine, and there's nothing, and sometimes it is something. I don't know. Is that have true? you had um, I don't know what that is. Jake, Jake, Wait, what what? Is, Jake, what the hell just went, got That said. went sideways. Jake, what did I'm you- I'm getting nervous. <laughs> that went sideways. Jake, please, for everyone, <laughs> oh my God. because we all have a similar reaction, which <laughs> yeah. is, what? Which I didn't expect. And I know, and now I'm I, feeling I, in a I, corner. I can tell, I can tell. <laughs> I really thought that was gonna be a universal, so, so, of course. So <laughs> what, what did you just say? Um, <laughs> I said that there are t- Kevin. Yeah, <laughs> put your no, giggle no. in back there. I think you need to slow down and yeah. tell us what you're talking about. <laughs> We're here to help, sweet lady. But wait, but wait, what did you just say? What do you mean? I said sometimes there are situations where you'll go to a procedure, uh-huh. and it is just what it is. And other times you go. It's a little bit amazing. more fun. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So this what? makes me really uncomfortable because my husband's a doctor. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Does Jake go to him? He better not. <laughs> and I know you liked it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I did, and so did get, he, bitch. I <laughs> do get nervous Keep checking. That. There's something yeah. further And up. guess what? We had a wonderful <laughs> 45 minutes. <laughs> uh, but so my question to you, Lainey, is when the procedure started, was it by the book? Was it science? Was it flirty? Was it fun? What happened? Um, well, that was pretty run of the mill. You know, he just checked me out inside my mouth and it was good. Everything was good there. Um, but then after good. we did chat a little okay. because okay. my brothers own a dental lab where they make implants and, you know, fake teeth. Sure. Um, it's a good start. So then we kind of had a connection over that. And he's like, oh, yeah, I know your brothers. Like, your family's so fun, blah, blah, blah. Like, it seemed like it was going going good, you know. A little but... bit skeptical for some reason. I don't know why. But we just did a look like we were on the same page. You, and then I, I admitted. You joined gotta, me. I did. But and then I, I, I admitted in the middle, I'm confused. Yeah, I, I noticed. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Well, because, because she was saying that they were talking oh about this God. stuff. And I was going, in my mind, okay, that's. Oh, like, good start. No. Oh, I was like, like nothing. I was like, that sounds like typical dentist yes. talk. Ooh, like, really? I know, okay. I, I mean, I could imagine. Is there typical dentist talk? There's some, I feel like there's a post-coital yeah. chat after every yeah. visit, but I'm kinda, right? I'm kind of with you, Olivia. <laughs> it's not like what you were talking about right? was like, what's your favorite cocktail you have yeah. on the beach? You're talking about my brothers also do this for yeah. a living. Yeah, do what you do, and, and I know the company. And maybe we could hook up in business with <laughs> you and them, right? Yeah. It so, wasn't like our pitch that we came in with this morning. Great Agreed. pitch, but you know? that's right. It's a great yeah. And so, Lainey, I, I'm with her. I'm with, the, my head nod was premature, but now that I've caught up to it, I agree. So there's nothing really flirty happening. You're just chat, you're chatting dentist stuff. And he put his fingers in your what? mouth, but for you, it was fun for him. <laughs> He's looking to see if you need a fucking retainer. Yeah. I'll tell you what doesn't get a lot of people boners is being like, you do need a retainer. So don't forget <laughs> to put the I'm night saying. guard in because your teeth yeah. grind a lot. That's okay. what I'm saying. Okay, now we're with you, Lainey. Okay. Oh. Am I already um am I already in the in the grave and asking him out because uh he knows I wear a night guard. Olivia, you know? go ahead. We... Uh, wait, first of all I just need to say this right yeah. before we started, Olivia said, Don't worry, I give great advice. I go really ahead. do. Yes. And she's <laughs> leaning in, her body has changed, her positioning has changed. She's ready. She's doing a lot of the like <laughs> the, she's I'm doing just like, a lot let's of let's stop. Yes. Without even saying it, just so you know, Lainey, her vibe is a lot of child please. Am I child, online? Child, please. Yes. Well, I think there's a lot more that needs to happen before you ask him out. One, did you look him up? Great question. Yeah, I looked him up. I What'd can't find? find him anywhere. Oh. Mm. oh On not social media. 
sus. Yeah. Sus? Maybe he's sus. got a lot of riz. Really? <laughs> the, Jake, he's obviously got a lot of Jake's riz. Jake's just forcing riz in where he can. He's I only just... know two, sus and riz. <laughs> yeah. So you couldn't find <laughs> him <a> anywhere. <laughs> no, I couldn't find him on any social. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. Have you prank called the office? Ooh. You ask what? that like it's normal. Yeah, I know. I'm like, what do you mean? By mean? prank call, do you mean like call? Hi, be- I'm calling for so and so's wife. Are they around? Oh, he like- doesn't have a wife. Wow, this is really Dope. good. Is I think real? you've done this way too many this times. This is great. <laughs> That's how she got her husband. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Wait, la- Lainey, have you? Have you no, called the yeah. office? No, okay. The issue with that is whenever I call, like to do appointment, can you, I don't know, can you still star 67 people? Whenever I call to do appointments, they. Actually, you're totally like, Hi, right. Delaney. It, it's a cell phone era. It is a cell. It is a cell phone era. We have dated ourselves. I know. You but, need to know if he's married before you ask him out. I don't know if that's true. No. I think it's true. He needs to know if he's married before he says yes. He but does. You're right. <laughs> if, if you're just the you're just the person interested, that's not your job to do all that homework, in my opinion. But is there only been one encounter? Just that one in the mouth. Head. There's been two appointments. The way she says yeah, things is odd, no? Head. I like it. <laughs> but yeah. right? Just one real quick. Is it or is it just straight to the point? Wham, bam, dental exam. <laughs> it's different. So <laughs> Okay, there's been two exchanges between you guys? Yeah. What exchanges. else happened? What happened on the next one? The second one, um, you could, I could tell he didn't recognize me at first, but then his oh, face kind no. of... Nothing. lit up a little and was like oh well, he did he did recognize okay. did yeah, or did not like, oh, it took him a beat how and are... then he lit up yeah yeah he didn't at first and then he was like oh how are you like oh i just saw your brother downtown and i wanted to say hi to him but i didn't know if it'd be weird you know and what i was like huh. oh huh. here's what you've got i don't know okay you've got a great <laughs> you've got a great advantage that maybe we're not taking full we're not using what yet, which your the brother brothers? your brother yeah. No, your brother has I already a... asked them. They said no. I agree because it's, it's their they profession. Said no to what? What did you I'm ask? getting in the middle of this thing. They're trying to sell equipment to them. They don't want to. Yeah, hook but up you their can easily system. be like, "Oh, this one's great." By the way, yeah. it's a lot of stuff. Can your wife help you bring yeah. some of it into the house? Right. He Just can do a li- All we want to know is if he has a wife. Is it, and yes, and and I don't you know, think that's all we want little... to know. <laughs> I want to know how she is with rejection, Lainey. Mm. Yeah, Lainey, how are you with rejection? Yeah. I mean, I can I can take it. Okay. <laughs> but I'm well, not then, scared of yeah. the okay. rejection. So, I'm scared of the uh, dentist appointments in the future being awkward. Well, if there uh, is but rejection. also, there's a, but there's other dentists. Well, yeah, by the, you know how dentistry is. It's a, you got a good dentist. You got to hang on to him. Yeah, you, Jake. You know how it <laughs> you is. Know dentistry. Dentistry. Yeah. You know dentistry. You know dentistry. I like every, yeah. I like everything about you, Laney. Yeah. You so, know, <laughs> Jake, you never tried to bang your dentist and come <laughs> no, back for no. a cavity. Jesus uh, Christ! Oh but God. I have gotten very friendly with my dentist. What does that mean? Jake, you're throwing <laughs> yeah, out some wait, bangers what? today. What, what does do that mean? mean? I mean, I took about ten years where I didn't go to a dentist or anything. Yeah. So there was about a twelve-year break. And then I went to one when I first got paid as an actor, and this sure. guy had fucking sausage fingers. He was filling my mouth up with his fat fingers and talking about there what he was go, gonna Jay. pull. And you loved it? <laughs> <laughs> How no. many fingers could he fit in there? It was all I felt was two, and I thought I'm out of here. And I said I'm done. Took another year and a half break. Then I met this great dentist. Okay. Doctor K. Okay. Studio City. Oh, good he had to a know. beautiful little TV in there, a comfortable couch, and he said, We got a lot of work to do on your mouth. I'm talking, you might be in here once a month for a couple of years. Oh, and geez. I went, like, God damn. And I'm like, It's bad. He's like, It's bad. Then we sat, we just started bullshitting. And when those fingers went in dentist. my mouth, I thought, <laughs> Jake, I'm not a dentist. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys, I have a good idea. Huh. Carry on. You, can, you jump in. Lainey, have you ever taken laughing gas? No, she has no, something here. I, mean, I know where I was she's little. going. Okay, it's it's really it's really a great time. I don't know if you guys have ever had yeah. it, but I have to get it to I've get done any it work done. I've done it the okay. dentist's office many times. Yeah, Me too. Lots of yeah. whippets in yes, in high school, <laughs> out of a balloon. But hold on, hold on, Olivia. Sorry, you're on go. To so one of the last times I got work done, I got the laughing gas, and I told the dentist like. I really like coming here. Like, can I come here even when my work is done? And he kind of giggled and he was like, it's working to his assistant. Like, basically, she's under the, oh, I the spell. I hear what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. So, my dear use Laney, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. I get really, really nervous. I need yeah, yeah, something yeah. to take the edge off if I get any work done. And then once it kicks in, 
you have you, a planned little monologue about, yes. I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm saying. I can't trust myself I, right I've now. I've had a crush on you since the first moment I saw you. I want <laughs> yeah. to go out with you. But then he can blame it on the past. Yeah. She Ooh. starts spitting things out that you know, are like, I, I agree. you know what I mean? It could go <laughs> sideways. <laughs> You're all I but, think about. Yeah. But, but hold on. Yeah. It's you not. said before you give it good advice. I called you out, and you just gave good advice. Yes. <laughs> because right now, I still think we're in the setup. But Lainey, I think that's a real home run. Because if you go yeah. in there and you're high, right? Yeah. And you go yeah. anything's excusable. Yes. Yeah. And you go like this. Oh my god! And you're keeping your fucking head on straight as hard as you can. And you go, I when I walked in, I was expecting this old guy from my childhood. You're so fucking hot. The nurse will laugh, and you'll go. And I'm so fucking single, and I would love to go out with you. <laughs> and he goes, it's working. And you go, yeah, it's working. I'm being honest. And then he goes, well, I'm not sure my wife would appreciate this. Then. You could say afterwards, I'm so embarrassed, and he'll go, you were on laughing gas. Now you guys will have a sweet thing, but it's not weird. You do that sober, it's different. Yes, it's weird. Yeah. yeah. But you might, yeah. we might be onto something here. No. Or just go to your dentist completely fucked up. Yeah, no, show up no. drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, show up we're, drunk. we're not even going down the road of show up drunk. Show up with a Bloody Mary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, look, let's get this over with. Where's Dr. Hot? Well, because the, the, beauty, of, the beauty of that is if it put goes... Him in, put me in the fuck chair, Dr. Hot. Because the beauty of that is if it goes sideways, he goes, she came in blackout drunk and sexually harassed me. That's right. And it's hilarious. No. We don't want that. <laughs> so well, hold now, on. All right. Lady, now hold on. that dentist, Jake. Okay. Oh, hold on. The second appointment, we have not gotten the details of what happened. Oh, yeah. That. No, you did. The first one, he, he's cute. He puts his fingers in your mouth. You like it. Oh, you the talk second appointment brother. was that he ran and saw your brother, but didn't say anything. But he lit yeah. up when he saw her. Lit up. Mm -hmm. and yeah. And what happened? His face did do a little light up. He said he saw my brother, and he should have asked him to have a beer when they were downtown. And oh, I said, yeah, so he is no. making the move. Or he likes mm. no. guys. No. Come on, no. brother. <laughs> no. Beer. Either no. way, no, your brother or him are getting banged like a cavity. Go, Jay. <laughs> no, but he's saying that. So that you could be at that beer, right? Uh, he's wait. not. Why would you say wait, to somebody? Wait, wait, wait. Then he said what? So he said, "I should have asked your brother for a beer, right?" Yeah. Then yeah. He said and what? then he said that he's like, "Yeah, it seems like you have a really, really fun family." Oh, see, oh. there's I don't something know if that here. Meant anything. I, think I don't know. I know. I'm feeling vibes. But. I'm feeling you vibes, do? too. How old is he? 68. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is... Sugar <laughs> daddy. It is the childhood dentist. It turns out it is. And at this point, we're going to say, all right, Lainey, awesome. We never asked what Dr. Dirty John look like. Yeah. Yeah, How old you is caught he? me. It's the childhood dentist. <laughs> so um, what is he, around your age, a little bit older? He's Can't be probably much younger. early 30s. Yeah, okay. Okay. Mm. okay. Right? I mean, if you go to the college and the in the dental school and stuff, like mathematically, you got to be early 30s-ish. Yeah, I agree. You're not going to have an 18-year-old dentist unless it's a prodigy. Okay. Yeah. Also, though, can't you just like it's ask true. the assistant? Is I, would, he I would go to a, I would go to a Doogie Howser. About the Doogie Howser yeah. dentist. My dream, honestly, this isn't a joke, is to find because I don't have a great doctor. Yeah, I'm looking for a Doogie Howser. I got I'm one. looking. You do? You want a teenager? I want a fucking 17 year old <laughs> prodigy who goes like, you know, be do 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 cancerous do 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 That's fine. Do 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 more water. Yeah, but I want that outside the box thinker, mm -hmm. kid genius. Mm -hmm. I probably won't be in medicine in ten years. I'm oh. giving you ten years of my life, man. Let's figure this out. It's it's a you have a point. It's right. a dream. <laughs> Everyone has a dream. I don't yeah. want I don't want a six year old guy who's like I've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. Let's check the I'm like pass. Well, that's why I think next time you go to the doctor, you should go up to the the front desk and be like, do you have any teenagers? <laughs> oh, Just see what yeah. they say. Because oh. I think that age that yeah. that show ages differently now. Yeah. How so? Wait, it's weird. If like a 16 year old was like bend over, I'd be like, I'm not comfortable with this. <laughs> right. A 16 year old guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Imagine. You that's know? that's a pitch. <laughs> Boy got a college. Yeah. But so hold on, Lainey. Let's get back. So the okay. second session is good, uh, but nothing overly eventful. But he does say you seem to have a fun family. Um, I wanted to get a beer with your brother. And then how does that end? I don't know. I like that. Okay. <laughs> well, my, yeah, they're really great. And that's, I don't and know. that's where we're. And so right now we're at that spot. And your question is, what do I do now? Can how you do, make a move? How do what I make do this I move? What do I do next? See, I have I an appointment. I was gonna say in, in I think May. 
Oh, we yeah. got some time. I my gut when yeah, he said the brother time. thing was that that was good for her. I felt like you two thought that wasn't good. You think maybe he's into the brother? I thought may I mean it, it crossed my mind. Did, is there any part of you, Lainey, that picks up that maybe he's not interested in the gender at all? Could you pick up on that? Um, I didn't pick up on that, She's but who knows? Know. I think this is the what do you right. think, Olivia? My intuition's telling me for some reason he's taken. He's taken. Uh, but here's here's what I would want to know. I, I mean, would... he's a hot dentist. He, he's probably taken. No, but you miss every shot you don't take. But yeah, you got to take the shot. But can you ask the assistant and say, gosh, he really reminds me of someone. Is he married to... Mm. Right. You know, oh, here, here's that's my question. But hold that on. That is good. Uh, once again. But here's my good. but here's my question to you, Olivia. Yes. Who why are we asking so many questions about this guy's life? All we want to do is ask him out. Yeah, but so I don't know. you're saying just go and be like, Are you married? I oh I would say ask him out. I would you want yeah, you want to know the real reason? I do. Because I'm serious, I think I'm a little protective because I have a really hot husband who's a doctor, and I guarantee you, on the daily, he walks in with his blue eyes and his gloves, and people are. I do. I would not want women asking him out. Really? I would want them. No, I'd want them to have respect for the fact. You'd want him to say, "I'm taken." Yeah, but I'd like to avoid it. Like I don't know. It feels like woman code in a way. Like. If if he has a wife, like I don't find that really respectful. But oh, oh. I don't know. I don't want to be a home wrecker. That's Let, hold, that's uh, another Lane, part. We're not talking about ruining. A I, home. That's why he I said be I might be home. a bit protective, yeah. but I'd rather know if I'm going to oh. ask someone out that they're at least available. So Olivia says, do a lot of homework before the test. No, I she say, disagrees. I know. I'm just taking it all in. Yeah. You know. I would say if you. Find this guy attractive, and you know where he works. That sounds threatening. <laughs> and, is that a threat? No. And May is a long time for a fucking hot dentist. As Olivia knows, you got to get your teeth into this guy right away because there's a lot of people grabbing at him. So you could wait until May. But guess what might happen in March? Dirty John might fall in love. And guess what? He might be right now mm. available. Inside and looking. someone's mouth. Right yeah. now he's in some woman's mouth and she's going like, Jesus. he's not bad looking. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Holy, this doesn't feel terrible. <laughs> and, do I need to retain it? <laughs> right? So what I would say to you is you're not going to score unless you fucking shoot the ball. Right. So get your ass there and ask his ass out. Go or ahead. just find out if he's married. It's not necessarily go, asking but him, out, find him out. No, but what her point was like, don't you know? But how? She Google him. She I like. Oh, they said pre married. call the office. Like no, a but, she also, but she also <laughs> said she could be like, does he go here? I thought I saw him with his wife the other day. Yeah. And if but she, who if, is this mythical person she's, she's talking, talking to? to? That it's he was mistaken the identity. The receptionist. So, Hi, uh, welcome to like blah 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 <laughs> dentistry. Hi, this is Lainey. I have an appointment no, in the, May. I Did I see the May. dentist with his wife at a racquetball court? In January. I have no idea what I the will fuck call you're him talking about. Right now. Oh shit! Oh I will God. call Why the office. Wait, call the Lainey. Office right Hold on, now. Lainey. Stop for and a second, ask Lainey. If he's married. Lainey. Yeah. Uh, do you feel comfortable this with Olivia great. calling? We will beep out the name of the place. Yeah. Uh, but can you give us the name of the dentist's office? Um, we'll yeah, that. let me. This is great. And then, yeah. Kevin, how do we do, do you this? Just want, do you so, what do you want think? So, Lainey, Lainey, we need Lainey. to send people like you to watch. Lainey, it. here's what's going to happen. <laughs> here's, here's what we're pitching to you You're going to give us okay. the name. Olivia is going to call in as somebody else, not you. Yeah. And her goal is going to be to try to find out if the dentist is married. Yeah. How she's going to do that, we we're going to see. We don't know. But <laughs> she, doesn't know. We, she doesn't even know, I think. None of this will come back to you. Uh, there'll be no link to you, and we will beep out the name. Except when the whole office listens to this podcast. Yep, Which could right. be helpful. Well, it's America's, <laughs> it's tied for, it's uh, two. You see, two. Rachel, honey, you're, you're not supposed to say that. We're in the sales job. We're selling this woman. On this. <laughs> <laughs> They'll play it at their wedding. They'll play it at their oh. wedding. Now, there lady, is go. this something you're comfortable with? Yeah, do you want me to just give you the number? Yes, yeah. we do. Uh, hold Dude. on. So how do we do it? Uh, say the number, I'll call it, and then put it on speakerphone and hand it over, okay. and then just hold it near the mic. Okay. 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 All right, we're ready when case. you are. So, uh, one, Olivia, are you ready? Do you one feel person prepped? talking. This Olivia's is Olivia's talking. Yeah, I'll do it. And let's not the do one it. person talking. I, Olivia and I talk. We're a couple. No, just okay, Olivia. Okay, great. Okay, great. 
Great. <laughs> okay, great. Rachel, I wasn't saying it to you. I was saying it to you. Great. I just want to know my role. My role is Silence. no role. No okay, role. no role. You're like, do not let her talk. <laughs> well, maybe, no. maybe she's at the drive-thru. This is what happened. Maybe she's, oh, just just, just, just get the best one. Maybe she's at the drive-thru. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, your order will be ready. Just to I give me say, a little bit of let's action. Let's let the woman let's do let her thing. Olivia do it. Okay. And we'll I'll see be, what comes this out. is a yeah. woman who doesn't look like she needs a fucking sidekick. Yeah? I got it. She's got, got it. it. And if you do, give well, a little do. gesture. Yeah, I'll won't. jump. She and, might. But if she does it, she, don't jump well, we in. Well, I might. Name. Yes. I need his name. Okay. <laughs> so. We'll bleep this stuff. Call her. What'd you say? What's his name? What's Dr. Dirty John's real name? We'll bleep it. Are you going to bleep that? Yes, of course. We promise. Okay. It seems Dr. Thank God we're Dr. bleeping. Dr. <laughs> <laughs> you said Dr. Uh, okay, okay, great. Okay. All right, one second. Uh, are you sending the number to Kevin? Are we? Or you could just say it out loud. I got my phone up. Can I just say it? Yeah, yeah, yeah yep. we'll bleep all this. Yep. Okay. Right, now, I'm going to go. go on the record and say, I think that this is not going to result in getting the information. I think I have faith, and I think Olivia is going to pull it off. And again, if you need you someone missed... to jump in, a hand gesture, okay. and I'll be. I... You miss all the shots you don't. I love work. I love to work. I love to work. I love to work. I need the but work. But it's into her phone, so you will just be soft off camera and confuse the call. I can, but I'm that's this fine. Away. Yeah, that's fine. You can talk. Just please don't laugh. What? Yeah. Shh. All right. Yeah, I won't I'm going to hit no, dial my character. I'll be like a butler. And then, maybe I'll be a falconer. And Lainey, Lainey can hear this too, correct? Okay. And then <laughs> I'm sweating too. Doctor. And then if this doesn't Doctor. work, I'll call after, and we'll keep calling right. one Shh. after the. Okay. Got it. Family Dental, this is. How can I help you? Hi, this is Sandra, and I am calling to organize a thank you delivery for Doctor and his wife. What is her first name? Okay. Uh, I am not sure. I'm new here, so let me just put you on a brief hold, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Yep. Wouldn't you like to have the smile of your dreams when you attend the Sandra's a genius. Cosmetic dentistry can make Dr. subtle Dr. changes that create dramatic name? differences. Okay. Her name is Anna. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. <gasps> and that's how it's done. Oh, well, no! well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> that was Holy fucking fuck. great. I'm floored. Olivia, how do you really feel? Good. I feel good. You must feel you I feel really good. That's like a, you just I pulled off it. something I mean, major. I knew it in my in my in yes. woman he intuition. I knew Holy he was Holy shit. Whew, now hot. let's come it. up with ways where she can nope. still ask him out. <laughs> Lady. <laughs> Is that right? Laney, thank you for the call. Yeah, Laney, oh, yeah. thank you. This one's Lainey. off. What a, uh, now you can keep going to the dentist. This is a wow. game <laughs> changing <laughs> moment. Yeah, you yes. saved me. Yes. She saved yeah. you. She yes. saved taught me from us all. She humbled me. <laughs> yes, very humble. Your early versions of how you're going to do this, the, you the have nitrous. far <laughs> transcended. Yes. I am nervous around you. Yeah, I'm good. impressed. I know. I 30 years and I'm that I don't even know you. Was yes, that, that was great. Too. That was great. <laughs> that was that was master class. That's Riz. That's Riz. Riz. That's Riz. Thank you for the call, Lainey. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Lainey. Thanks, Thanks, Lainey. Guys. Wear that night Bye. guard too. It's good. <laughs> Trust me. Wow. 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 Bye. I do I'm feeling a wow. little bit bad though for Lainey. No, she's fine. Olivia, she's no, I thought you, you meant just... bad that they're not getting a thank you yeah. basket. You just promised. Them. No, <laughs> we're, we're sending one from the show. That I was, was and the card yeah. is going to be divorce your wife. Yeah, Olivia, yes. that was spectacular. It Amazing. really was. Really, okay, I thought. I thought honestly, because we do little things like that a lot. Thought the whole bit was going to be it was going to go sideways. He was going to start interrupting. <laughs> I, I, I was, was your biggest worry. Yeah, I was ready. But that was I was setting him up for it. He was going to jump in. I was ready. <laughs> Then when you did the setup, I was like, this is kind of good, actually. When you got then put when on they hold. came back with the yeah. name. Yeah. Oh. I think it helped us that she was new. Yes. 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 You know, because but even she's the, not going to know a Sandra. Even the smoothness of right. the start. Oh, yeah. Oh. Right into business. I right was thinking, into I couldn't even, my, I was so spiraling Same. in my head, my hamster wheel. I was like, Same. I don't know what the fuck I would say. I had no Same. idea what you were going to say. I would have literally gone like this. Uh, oh, it was Dr. What? <laughs> oh, she a person? What's Miss? <laughs> is it no, a Miss? Bye. Hi. What's the United States uh, Dental <laughs> Census? <Yeah. laughs> is, what is Doctor? 
his <laughs> wife's Excel. name. Yeah, I would have been like, is he married? Excellent. All right, let's see. I do kind of feel bad okay, that they're one. not No, you did. That was Stop. great. Hey, okay. stay Listen. in whatever magic uh, witch zone you're yeah, in, because yeah. that was there's shocking. A, there's another one. That's what honestly scary. <laughs> And lift down. <laughs> All right, Gilly Bean. Gil, Gil, Gil. Jake Johnson back in the studio together again after a short hiatus. I uh, did not enjoy it. Uh, I got uh, nogged out. Have you ever had that, Jake? No. Jake, so much nog, you go into a legal coma. We're here to talk about Squarespace. Squarespace, unbelievable. Uh, Squarespace uh, helps you build your website, helps you build your brand. God, what doesn't it do? I'll tell you what it doesn't do. It doesn't come over and try to punch you when you didn't give it the gift that it wanted, like uh, some uh, relatives of mine. Listen. We got Ooh. a lot to brag about when it comes to Squarespace. Who Don't punched, flag anything. Who Somebody punched, punched me. You? I got punched at the holiday supper. The uh, night that you left my backyard drunk and came back with a black eye? I stole a motorcycle. Fluid engine is something that scares square, scare space. It's not Halloween, but I think we got a good tie in for what it is. With Fluid Engine, a next generation website design system from Squarespace, is ever been easier for anyone to unlock unbreakable creativity? Let me say that again. Unlock unbreakable creativity, because I want that to sink in for everybody. Start with a best-in-class website template and customize every design detail with a reimagined drag-and-drop technology. By the way, I've done the old drag and drop when I, was, I actually had some gambling debts and someone put me behind their car. They they shut my tie into the trunk and they just started moving, but we're not here to get into that. Drag and drop technology for desktop or mobile. You got both. Stretch your imagination online with Fluid Engine built in and ready to go on any Squarespace site. Also, Jakey Boy, I know you like merch. You sell a lot of that merch. What do you You got a piece of the New Girl merch? No. How does that work? You guys have t-shirts, posters? We don't get any You know what I used to like was going to Spencer Gifts back in the day and looking at those uh, women who had the was laying down on a Sexy car. I would you ever slow like down that? with this. Absolutely. I'm way off topic. I've uh, had two espressos. Custom merch. Easily sell custom merch and create a passive income stream that engages your audience and scales your brand. Design your products and productivity and your production. Inventory and shipping are handled for you. That's right, Jake. It's handled for you. That's saving you time. And you know what else? Money. Money, baby. Jakey knows what he's doing. Online stores. Sell your products on an online store where you sell physical, digital, or service products. Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. So what are you doing? I know what you're doing. You're sitting on your couch. You're watching Judge Judy. You're, you're saying, hey, I got to get in that courtroom. I got to get me a little money. Well, why do that when you can just use Squarespace? So what I need you to do is head to www.squarespace.com slash Gil sent me. That's me, Gilly Bean, Buchanan. And to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using the code Gil sent me that's www.squarespace.com Gil sent me slash Gil sent me uh maybe we'll fix it in post anyway you're saving 10 percent off your purchase of website domain Jack Johnson Gilly Bib Buchanan the best friends hi there how's it going oh good how are you oh great I hope you're excited we got a banger for you you buckled in <laughs> oh, yeah. fun, I'm Jake. super excited. I guess so. So are we. But it's not just Jake and I today. OK, you also have from the Broad Ideas podcast, you have Olivia Allen and Rachel Bilson. So we are guaranteed to oh, solve this. Please. Yeah, it's a big deal. So don't be nervous. <laughs> Keep your problem where it was at. OK, but what is your name? OK, age roughly where you're calling from and then we'll get into it. OK, my name is Maggie. Hi, Maggie. I'm 35. And I'm calling from Dayton, Ohio. Okay. Oh, it's cold right now. And I just yeah, want to say, I'm a big yeah. fan of the podcast and also a fan of Nick Miller and Brian, the security guard. We appreciate oh, yeah. you. Yeah, I don't know. You guys, deal. I don't know if you finished New Girl, but season eight, Brian, the security guard, kind of becomes mm -hmm. a bit of a player. That's like my a, character. The whole Paul show. Blart, old, just uh, so you uh, Well, like, uh, better than a yeah. Paul. I don't, uh, he doesn't like to get Paul blarted. Uh, that's not exactly the zone, Brian. <laughs> he, he was a co-star, and the show only went seven seasons. Maggie, you yeah. uh, keep going. All right, Maggie. Uh, <laughs> right. Dayton, funny bun. Been there a bunch. All right, Maggie, we're all having fun. Jake decided that some of the characters on New Girl aren't as important as the others. What's oh, going on? So, I, um... I'm a mom of two young kids. Congrats. My daughter is um, three and a half. She's my oldest. Okay. So my daughter is a big fan of, <laughs> she's a big fan of mermaids. Mm. Okay. But, you know, it, it didn't occur to me. I thought it was a cute interest at first, but she actually thinks mermaids are real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this came up, we were talking about it, and she asked where mermaids live. How do we, like, go see mermaids? And I mentioned to her that they weren't, they weren't actually real. Okay. Now, she didn't believe me, and my husband, Kevin, thinks that we should just let her keep believing in mermaids. Mm. 
and I talked to some of our friends, and they agree with him that we should just let her keep believing. We're talking about a three and a half year old. Yeah, correct? that's young. Just to be yes. just to be clear, we're not talking about like a twenty five year old, <laughs> a kid from your first marriage. I think right, we Reggie? know Jake's take. Uh, <laughs> three and a half, three and a half yeah. years old. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Continue. So. Uh, keep going. Right. So so some people are like, let her believe, but you have a conviction that she should know the truth about this. He's state. like, goo goo gaga, and you're like, nothing's well, real. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want you to see Easter Bunny. Well, it's fucking a lie. Everybody dies. Everybody yeah. dies, including me. You love me so much, I won't be here forever. I'm deteriorating, and guess what, little girl? Same with you. You love your little brother? He's dead, too. It's three and a half. Oh, you want to talk right. about mermaids? Yeah. Let me and tell I you about what's happening in the Middle East. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going, Maggie. Sorry. Okay. So, you know, some things, you know, she can sort of, you know, believe. And actually, after talking with friends, I was like, okay, maybe everyone's right. Because it seemed like everyone, you know, b- thought that, that I was wrong to tell her. Just three and a half. Oh, understood. So I, I get it. Ask. So you're yeah. the only person who believes, let's just be more honest with our kids. Is that correct? And your world is saying, well, what are you talking I, I guess about? I never thought about the, this whole, the mermaid talk before. Right. Like when, what's when the should line? this occur? Well, what, but Maggie, what's your stance on uh, yeah. Santa? Do you tell her that a man comes down your chimney? <laughs> we do. Okay. And we do the whole Santa thing. Okay. Plan on doing that until... To you know, for at least several years. Sure. And what's your stance on like tooth fairies? How how we living on tooth fairies? This happened last night. I'd what like happened? to share. One, one second, Maggie. Go ahead. I was just going to say this. Olivia this, Allen brought ideas. Keep going. This <laughs> just happened last night or this morning. My son lost his tooth and he said to me this morning, Mom, are you the tooth fairy? Ooh. And I, he's eight. Yeah. I don't like lying to him. We do the whole Santa thing. But instead of saying, um, no, I'm not the tooth fairy. There is no such thing as the tooth fairy. I said, oh my gosh, I wish that would be so cool. Mm -hmm. I wish I was the tooth fairy, (laughs) you know? And so then he was like, this is the direction I went into and you teased me about, remember? (laughs) This was the move I do. I do the same thing. Yeah, 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 no, I liked it. What's wrong with that move? Well, because I do, my kids are are 10. Yeah, Yeah. and and they they, still believe? Well, no, they'll go, everybody Mm -hmm. at school has told us there's no Santa and they cornered my wife oh. and she admitted it. Oh no. And, and so they go, we want you to admit it. And I go, I wish I could say that. Exactly. But I don't know. I go, <laughs> right. she go, they'll go, we know what you're doing. I'll go, I don't even know what I'm doing. Right. Am I positive that there's a Santa? No. Am I yeah. positive there's not? Right. No. Right. Uh, Rachel, where do you stand on this? On lying? Yeah. To my child? Well, yeah. I do it daily. Yeah. <laughs> I stand firm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you mean about Santa? I don't care shit. <laughs> I told him the truth on that years ago. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, and you're going to die, just yeah. like you said. So, so here's kind of where the issue of this mermaid thing. Okay. Because I, I was all set to let her keep believing in mermaids. Because I even asked her, because, you know, I found out she didn't believe me because I asked her, do you think mermaids are real? And she says, yes. And then she goes, I don't think fish are real. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like turn. your kid. I like her. I like your kid. I That's love a fun this. turn. So, we read this book at the library about this girl who doesn't know she's a mermaid until she goes swimming and her legs get stuck together okay. and eventually turn into a tail. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so we are getting ready to take a family trip to Florida. Oh, no. And a few days ago, she get, said that she was worried that when she goes swimming, her legs are going to get stuck together. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So this is <laughs> where kind of like the mermaid issue comes in. So that's already to have her believe, but now, you know, She's three, so it's hard to tell what's really going on in her head. She's three. But she said it seemed like she was worried about it. Well, I, I'll tell you what. When you get to Florida, the problem is going to solve itself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we, we know That's Florida true. is going to answer a lot of these questions. Yes. But the one you're in right now, Maggie, is should mm-hmm. you continue this uh, belief that mermaids are real or should you go with your conviction apart from what the people in your life say, and tell her, here's the truth, my little daughter. Mermaids are bullshit. Mm -hmm. How do you know the truth? I'm with you. I really am. I am too. It's also- Have we been to the bottom of the ocean? Yeah. Here we go. There could absolutely be mermaids. I've never seen one. Yes. No, true. We've never seen one. But Maggie- You can say that. I've never seen one. We've never seen a Sasquatch, but Steve Berg started his podcast. (laughs) (laughs) High strangeness. Uh, Maggie- is that the kind of root of the question? What do I do now? I'm trying to figure out what you, we could specifically help you with because this doesn't seem like it's a pitch yeah. one, right? Your question seems to be more, do I continue the lie or do I end the lie? Or am I uh, phrasing that wrong? Right. Yeah. Do, like, do I continue 
you know, letting her believe mermaids are real and kind of worrying about her, things like her legs being stuck together. Well, or should I tell her they're not real? And All I would do is I mm-hmm. would prep her for the reality that if she goes to Florida, there her legs might not stick mm-hmm. together. And that doesn't necessarily mean anything, but don't be freaked out. We'll have a good okay. trip either way. And then, yeah, I don't think you have to rip off the mermaid band-aid just yet. No. Rachel, no. where you at? I mean, no. I think three okay. people on this She's podcast believe in the existence yeah. of mermaids, to be quite I honest I still with you. think I am one. I choose to believe. <laughs> I choose to believe. Uh, That's no, why she, I won't go to the ocean. Hold She's, on, Rachel, she's so what do you think? young, and I think it's part of the beauty of a young child is like this, these beliefs in, in magic and whatnot, and I would fully support that because guess what? There comes a time where they don't believe in shit anymore. Yeah. And it's really depressing. Yeah. And I think you want to hold on to that a little That's bit. True. And I wouldn't worry so mm-hmm. much about like lying because you're not lying. You're yeah. supporting a child's imagination. You're mm-hmm. Yes, you're enabling fantasy, yeah, yes. which is fine. Uh, and fantasy is important. Yes. For but fa- but yes. Rachel finished. So is that where your kind of is? I think you support it. And if she's worried about her legs, you know, it's like, well, it never happened to me. And let's see what happens. But let's Florida. see what happens. And, and if right. they turn into mermaid legs, we'll deal with it then. And you buy her that mermaid fucking yep. tail thing they yeah. can wear. 100%. And she can pretend Ooh. to be a mermaid that and live out her dream. Exactly. I like that a lot. And you're supporting her, the love okay. of her, you know, I love think, for mermaid. I think that's a really good idea, too. I think, like, it may, probably not three and a half because they're still learning how to swim. We don't need to Houdini the legs just <laughs> yet. Don't, but don't yeah, not yet, not yet. Just, they have towels. Yeah, yeah. Let, but they yeah. Have you have towels. towels. My, kid, my kids had those mermaid yeah, tails. Yeah, yeah. But eventually you get a mermaid tail. Maybe. But they're fine. But they're fine. They but, but it's a, I have but, one. But it's, a, love different, love it's, it's yeah. a different thing than the question. The because it, the question is, and I like where you're going with that, Rachel, and that is, do I continue the lie or not? Right. So the reality is in Florida, she's not going to turn into a fucking mermaid. <laughs> and then you're going to deal with it then. Right. Uh, Olivia, what's your kind of take? Okay. What's your gut feel? I mean, listen, my son's going to be five next month and I have to refer to him as Bumblebee from Transformers. Mm-hmm. And every time I do that, mm-hmm. I'm not like, hey, Bumblebee's not real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, you're Bumblebee. Okay. You know, it's you're, just it's, supporting, you're their, supporting their creativity yeah. and their freedom. And mm-hmm. I would just give her as much permission to play in that as possible yes yeah. and have fun okay. with it right, so maggie yeah. question to you here yeah because this seems pretty mm-hmm. straightforward uh what's your hesitation here kid you got a three and a half year old baby why are you trying to squash this <laughs> i'm a little lost yeah I, I guess i i think you know i'm starting to agree that to let her believe that mermaids are real yeah. i just the flip side of this is sometimes it's hard to tell if she's worried about turning into a mermaid or she if she really wants to, so I also don't want her to be disappointed if she like wants Olivia to get her. Olivia Allen, Broad jump Ideas in, jump Podcast, in. jump in. Kids, kids are energetically connected to our fears, and I think that if Jeez. you continue Jeez. to worry, oh, that's the smartest thing that's ever been said on this show. <laughs> if you continue Garrett, to Garrett worry, Garrett's gonna pitch. <laughs> Dress up like a mermaid and tackle her. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go, it's actually not bad. That's Why don't you leave bad. some salmon scales on the ground no, and see, one visited yeah, you? Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to eat a, uh, 15 pounds of tuna. Yeah, that's tuna. there you go. <laughs> All right, so keep going. More is caught than taught. Our children <laughs> catch more of what we do than mm-hmm. what we teach them. And the more you worry about this being a thing, the more she'll worry about having a tail or not having a tail. So really the most important part is you handling yeah. and then really your quick, relationship. Really Really quickly for our audience, Gareth, can you explain what that means more is taught than caught? It's uh, great. What what Olivia's <laughs> pitching here, and I like it, is when you're in Florida, go on a fishing journey <laughs> and hire someone to get caught in the net because what's caught is taught. And then when you have a mermaid in the net, you bring it on the boat, you whack it over the head, and you say, you did this, you yeah. did this. And, and that, could throw be an it back that could be taught. an ant. That could be an ant. Right, right? Yeah. Taught, taught, yeah, make yeah. sure the net is taught. Look, that could yeah. be Because yeah. otherwise, that little mermaid's going to try to get out. And look, down in Florida, you can go to a lot of different clubs and hire a lady to do that. And then later that night, order <laughs> mahi mahi for the table and let your daughter know you're eating mermaid but oh, or geez. order a bunch of fish and say mermaids don't use forks and knives eat with your face yeah. like a little mermaid or just go. let her listen to this episode of a podcast <laughs> exactly. or order fish and be like you are a mermaid you're practicing cannibalism and then when she says i want good cheese you go like this <laughs> Mermaids don't eat that. Yeah. You know what you can do? <laughs> Pretend she's a mermaid, but say mermaids need to have like little gummy vitamins yes. and yeah. broccoli. Yeah. And yeah. then go, here's the thing. Little mermaids can't eat gummy bears right. until she goes, well, I don't want to be a mermaid. And you go like this. So are you officially not a mermaid? Right. Officially. It, right. If you oh, want grilled fish. cheese, 
You can't be a mermaid. And she'll go, I'm not a mermaid. You go, thank God. Then let's go get some prize. It works both ways. So you can do that, or you can do uh, Olivia's advice. I think you have two great routes here. So, Maggie, what do you think you're going to do here? That's a tough one. So I I think I'm going to go with just kind of going with the flow, letting her believe in mermaids. Mm -hmm. and Yes. You know, just just seeing like when we get to Florida, seeing kind of where it goes. Yeah, and yeah. Just, Florida. And it, you know, not yeah. trying to correct her. You, hi- you are hi- sorry. Just so we're clear, you are hiring the mermaid. No, actress she said here. it's a tough one. She's but not yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. yeah I, I wrote all that down. Okay, hire good. a mermaid. And by the way, <laughs> if you get if you get yeah. there and she's like, "Where are the mermaids?" Blame it on Desantis. He's outlawing so much stuff. Be like, he got rid of mermaids like two years ago. And so that's true. And so Maggie, yeah, in, they offended him. He got rid of them. In closing, you're going to. Take this one day by day and see what happens in Florida. <laughs> That's the end of this. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wait, I don't understand what's tough. <laughs> I think, can Olivia call you with a problem but, about your problem? Yeah. Is that possible? Olivia, in closing, what do you say here? I say, well, because you guys pitched a really extravagant plan. Yeah. And then you said, what are you going to do? I gave her really clear <laughs> marching orders you feel to like... look at her own fears and worries and then model that for her child. And she said, I don't know. It's a tough one. Yeah. Well, that's because she's one of our listeners. OK. OK. <laughs> Maggie yeah. Maybe Sadlin. you should listen to Broad Ideas. Yeah. We Maggie, can help you. Everybody <laughs> also listen to Broad Ideas and then come back here. But this is for sure, Maggie. One of ours. Yeah. <laughs> but it sounds like, Maggie, you're leaning in the Olivia direction. But she doesn't know because guess what? Yeah, the other. Definitely. Th- let me. Yeah. I just want to be clear. I'm I'm going to just let go with the flow. Let her keep believing in mermaids. OK. I see gotcha. where it goes. But if so, things go sideways down there and she's crying, hire a lady, put her on a boat, <laughs> fake catcher. Hell, I'll, I'll come down there. I'll wear a wig. I'll shave my chest. And I'll put yeah, some shells I'll look on. into that. Yeah. Well, so you, you got two great like options. Really... her at all. <laughs> Oh no! Scare her out! I don't want to be a mermaid be a anymore. Mermaid. If it looks like that man, hello. <laughs> you want to be a mermaid? That's what happens when you hit your forties. Hello. <laughs> oh my God! I want to be a mermaid like in Disney. Aren't you great? <laughs> you want real life? This is what happens to mermaids. I'm dating an octopus. Yeah. You know what we'll do, Maggie? Uh, Gareth and I will show mm-hmm. up real half cocked on alcohol, okay. smoking cigarettes, and we'll let her know this is what happens to little girls when they become adult mermaids. Yeah, or or what we could do is we could show up at the bar and look like a couple of mariners. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. we could be talking about mermaids, exchanging mermaid tales at the bar, <laughs> drinking fruity cocktails. Yeah. So we're going to do that, but we're going to keep the three and a half year old away from us. Maggie, we appreciate the call. Good Rachel luck out there, and Olivia, well, thank so you guys for coming. Thank, thank you guys. Thank you. Oh my God. Wow. Hey, everybody. Thank you guys for watching us on YouTube. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of this quality content. Ring, ring. Here to help. Go ahead. Oh, my God. Penis. Cut. That was a HeadGum Podcast.